What's going on? Another episode of Kyle TV, and in this episode, we'll be talking about ways to invest in ICOs in 2018 that could make you rich. So, before we dive in, I'm not a financial advisor. This is for entertainment purposes only. All right, now that we're here, we're looking at the market cap, and it is insane. I mean, it's all time highs, there's no doubts. Insane growth. You're looking at since the first, just the first of the month, it, almost a $170 billion increase in just a few days. Insane. I mean, man, if we pull this back a year, uh, let's go back to, you know, the first of last year, you know, you're looking at $18 billion market cap and it grew to, you know, slowly. Like, basically, it took from January to October, the end of October, to grow that fast. And it grew literally that fast in just literally like four days. Like, that's insane. All right, so now we're just going to jump into it. So, yeah. Now, Tron, obviously, a lot of these altcoins have taken off. Tron at 20 cents at the highest. Cardano, a dollar twenty-two and such. Bitcoin Cash has kind of went sideways. Um, Ripple, you guys know the story about that. Ethereum has kind of gained a lot of traction. I mean, they're looking good. Probably about more around market price, market value than than it was before. Um, I was going to show you guys. Oh, yeah, you guys want to make sure you subscribe to my channel. Um, I alerted slash made a video about Tron and Cardano when they were like, when Tron was like 002 cents right here. And then Cardano like way... There's one right there, but like way back here and even way a month ago when it was like two cents. So you want to make sure you subscribe and make sure you hit the notification bell. So, but with that being said, tokenmarket.net, that's a place I go to to look at some ICOs. Um, now, this is one of the places I go to. This is not the only one, but you can check out check out some of these ICOs, upcoming ones, past ICOs. So it's kind of a cool place you can go to. Um, some notables like co-vesting, I think there's um, Cryptarium, Beluga Pay, um, let's see here, Hoku. Um, and yeah, so that's one of them. You can, you can kind of come in here, you can click on um, each one and kind of do a little bit of research, you know, watch their introduction, their video, their YouTube channel. You got links all the way down, you symbol, I mean, everything you need to know, um, latest tweets, um, even their domain score. I mean, it shows you a little bit of SEO. I mean, this is pretty um, well detailed stuff here. So you can do your research on that on this website. Another one is Coin Schedule. Um, if it would load, so let's go ahead and load this back up, refresh it, and if it doesn't load, then we'll move to the next one. So it was working a second ago. So we'll move over to the next one. Um, this is icoalert.com, and this is also just kind of a, um, in my opinion, it's not as pretty as the others, and it just shows active pre-ICOs, you got upcoming ones, um, and concluded, um, included pre-ICOs. So, I mean, it just pretty much has all, you know, the same information, maybe even more. It shows, like, if it's ended or not, um, and everything like that. And these are pretty much the sponsored ones that sponsor listings. So, you know, the more the more that you see like that they're sponsored, um, that they're paying for advertisement, that's that's a good sign, in my opinion. Not all the time that they have some money to play with. Um, now, if we could get Coin Schedule to um, actually work here, that would be great. Uh, so, and then the next one is icotracker.net. Um, this one's basically a, it's kind of like, you know, you have to have a white paper, you know, some good developers, um, you know, and everything like that to get onto this website. But that doesn't necessarily guarantee that, you know, that it's a good project, but you can kind of come in here and, you know, take a look at some of these projects if you want to. Now, if you start seeing like, basically the same projects over and over that's a huge huge good good sign like cryptarium you've seen it on tokenmarket.net it's on coin schedule 
I mean, their site looks like it's down right now, but coin schedule, um, ICO tracker.net. Now, this one has very, um, I mean, it's very basic. You know, there's not really a way to categorize it other than hitting like current, upcoming, past, and everything like that. But it has, you know, some research here. And it doesn't look like their scoring has really, I mean, there's like supposed to be scored maybe right here. So maybe as time goes on, they'll like start scoring these ICOs. Um, the next one is icowatchlist.com. This one just has a progress bar, which I think is kind of neat. Also, you have, you know, sponsored listings or gold. You know, you got silver. Um, so you start to see some trends here. You got co-vesting again. Like I said, they're already done. Um, I guess after a certain point, you know, they stop reporting their ICO um, progress, maybe after it's sold out. Um, but still, you get to see like Hoku's on this one. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that name right, but it looks like it looks like it's spelled like that. Um, I think Crypterium, they're just right here. They're on silver, and um, and then so on. So you know, you, you start seeing these trends. That's a good thing. Envion's a big one right there. Envion, uh, they're doing like cloud mining or mining, basically green mobile mining. So, but anyways, like that's some ways you can come in here and take a look at some ICOs. We'll try to hit up coin schedule one more time. Okay, here we go. Boom. So uh, I, if I, I don't think we covered this one, but we'll go ahead. It's the same idea. Now this is probably one of my favorite ones um, next to tokenmarket.net um, and ICO watch list. But this one, same idea. You have your you know sponsored ones up here. Uh, basically, you got Crypterium, Covesting, see there. These are some solid ones. Hoku again. So, I mean, you start seeing that. And um, actually, you know, actually click on these. Actually do some research. Go to their website. See what they're about. Look at their developers. Research their developing team. Um, research the, their developing team. You know, who they are. How, you know, what, what have they done in the past. Um, look at their white paper. Come in here. Look at the, their white paper. Go on their social media to see if they're active on there. You know, do your due diligence before you throw money into an ICO. Find out what their token distribution is all about, like how that's going to work. Um, you know, find out how they, you know, that their their token you know, is going to basically, um, you know, what you need to know basically the details of either getting the token. Sometimes you need an ERC twenty wallet. Sometimes you don't. Sometimes you know they'll give you the tokens upon launch or they'll launch the wallet so you kind of need to know that those details um, obviously you want to do you want the highest ROI so you know especially if they burn coins if they don't sell all of them that's a good sign because that will drive the price up um, you know sometimes they give bonuses I like bonuses personally some people don't um, I do uh, because once the ICO is over and they hit an exchange um, also find that out. Find if they're hitting an exchange. That's really important that they do do that. Um, I like to see you know projects hitting big big exchanges. So you know for liquidity, so you can sell your coins if you want to, um, or you can hodl them and over time you know sell them on an exchange and everything like that. Some of these um, projects like Covesting, you need to have some um, Cove. You know that's what their coins called Cove. To you know, take part in their in their services. So they have like a you know copy trading platform, and you have to have some Cove on there to utilize some of those services. So you want to make sure you hold on to some of those and read about the those details um, and everything like that. So that's what I do. I come in here. I look on on their social media. I look to see if anybody inf influencers are talking about these ICOs. You know, I don't just one off. I don't just look at one of these websites. I go through. Um, I even go to YouTube and do my research on there. So there's uh, definitely a filter and criteria that I use, um, and I, I I use to to uh, you know basically filter through these um, ICOs and figure out which ones are legit. Or not only that, that you know all of these could be legit for all we know, but ones that are going to be successful when they launch like from the get-go so you don't have to wait a year you know you don't have to wait two years to get your money back or an ROI or to sell your tokens but that you can go off you know and you know sell all your bonus tokens hit your ROI 
and still have you know tokens left over. So that's what I do, and I hope this helps you guys um, do your research and overall make you money. So with that being said, subscribe to, this, um, to my channel if you like that. Give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment related post below. What's your ICO that you're looking out for? And, um, and yeah, so I'll see you guys at the blockchain and in the next video. Peace. Right to the moon,